This is how you can add blaster effects in your LEGO stop motions for free by simply using a software called HitFilm Express. If you are unfamiliar with HitFilm, then I recommend you to watch a few tutorials on how to properly use HitFilm. So, as you can see, I now have a clip of Captain Fordo shooting with his blaster. But as you can see, there is no blaster effect here. So, the first thing I want to do is to make a composite shot. You don't have to make a composite shot, but it will be much easier if you have a longer video to keep it like organized and stuff. So I'm just gonna name this Fordo Firing or something like that. And what you wanna do now is click on New Layer and you wanna add a new plane. Name it something like Blaster. Make sure it's white. And as you can see, the screen is not completely white, and we don't really want that yet, so just hide it like that. Now I'm just gonna place the plane where I want it to be. And what you now want to do is to just make a mask. And then you can make the new plane visible again. Just like that. So this is the main shape for the blaster. And what you now want to do is to go to mask and click on shape. And you want to change the expansion, feather strength, and roundness. As you can see, it's already a bit glowy, but we don't have the right color yet. So what you then want to do is to go to effects and you want to search for neon glow. And then you just want to drag it over. So now it looks a lot more glowy, but the color is still wrong. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that to this one right here. This looks good. And now I'm just going to increase the strength and the expansion and the radius, just like that. So now you do have a complete blaster effect, but it looks kind of boring. So what I'm then going to do is to go to blend right here where it says screen and you want to change it to add. And as you now can see it's way more glowy and way more realistic looking as well. And to make it even more realistic you want to go to layer properties and you want to go, go to blend and you want to change it from normal to add. This way it looks even more glowy and even more realistic. However, if the lighting in your video is too bright, then this might look a little bit wacky because it's just going to be too light and you won't be able to see the color. It's just going to it's just going to be white. But if the video is a bit darker like here, then it's going to look really good. So now we're finished with the blaster effect itself. And now what we want to do is to actually animate this whole thing because as you can see it just stays there. So, the first thing you want to do is go to mask and click on transform right here. And you want to click on path, like so. And then you want to skip to the next frame, just like so. And then you can make it slightly bigger like that. So now I'm going to go to the third frame, right here. And I'm just going to drag it over here. And then the last frame. So now we have a full animation, the main blaster effect. Now you don't really have to do anything more, but if you want to make it look even more realistic and even better, what you can do is to add a new plane layer and make sure it's black. And then you want to go to effects and you want to search for light flares. I'm going to drag it there, just like so. and. And then you want to just click on add and then you can just move it there obviously it's a bit too big and then you can just choose whatever kind of light flare effect you want and as you now can see it looks way cooler it looks way more realistic as well now if you want to add a little bit extra to it then you could add some extra effects like the one I've got here which is kind of like an electric blue muscle flash thingy that I got for free from footage crate. So I'm just gonna add that and as you now can see it looks way cooler. 
But if you don't like how this looks, there are obviously many more ways to customize it. For example, there are many more types of light flares that you can add. If you don't like the one that I'm using, you can use this or you can use that. It doesn't really matter. And then obviously you can change the color as well. So you really just have to find your own style when it comes to making the blaster effects. So now we have a finished blaster effect. As you can see, it looks really good. At least in my opinion, it does. So here is the final result with some sound effects added. But yeah, there we have it. This is how you make a blaster effect in HitFilm Express. I certainly hope this video helped you. I hope you now know how to make a good blaster effect in your LEGO stop motions. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.